relax into a deep sleep. In tonight's guided sleep meditation story, you are listening to Cherry Blossoms in Osaka, a guided bedtime journey that will transport you to Osaka Castle Park during the peak of spring and cherry blossom season. You travel on the Golden Wasen, a regal Japanese-style boat that glides on the moat that surrounds the historic castle. The afternoon sunlight shines on the protective granite walls that rise out of the water. You disembark and explore the castle grounds as you walk through the gardens on a magical carpet of soft pink petals. Blossoms fall like rain around you as you settle beneath a tree in full bloom to engage in the Japanese ritual of Hanami. Cotton candy pink sunset skies enhance the puffs of pink sakura or cherry blossom trees. As night falls, you sail through the starry indigo blue sky on a cloud of cherry blossoms and drift asleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you are listening, you may think of my voice as that of a dear friend and guide. I am here to help you transition between your waking and sleeping life in the most healing and relaxing way possible. So get cozy in your bed and know that you may customize this experience in any way that best suits you. You have earned this time at the end of the day to spoil yourself and luxuriate in thoughts and feelings that inspire bliss and peace. You're free to let down your guard and explore the sanctuary of your mind. This place is for you alone, a sacred canvas where you are the artist and may paint over any ideas or images that do not bring comfort. And at any point, you may let go of my voice and cross over the bridge from your waking life to your dreaming life if sleep beckons to you. You're always free to return and listen again in the future. There is no wrong way to do this and you are doing exactly what you need to right now. Wiggle out any parts of your day that your body may still be holding on to. Let everything go. Snuggle and sink your head deep into your pillows. Take in a deep breath and fill your body to its utmost capacity with healing oxygen. Open your mouth and relax your jaw in a great big yawn. This guilt-free yawn signals to your body that it is okay to stand down and get ready for sleep. Sigh out all the air through your lips. And as you do, imagine a generous pile of soft cherry blossom petals resting in your hand. You blow them off your palm and they float above a glistening body of water. You take in another deep breath, filling your lungs with so much air that you could float away like a balloon on a spring breeze. And then exhale, and once again imagine blowing away the ivory and soft pink petals. Only this time, you decide to travel along. You find you are floating against the backdrop of a cornflower blue sky, surrounded by the confetti of pink petals. 
Not a cloud can be seen on this perfect day. The gentle spring winds cause your attire to billow as you drift along. You are dressed in an outfit that best suits you for a day in the park. Something that makes you feel comfortable and at peace, yet also celebrates your personal style. For you are traveling to a land of style and beauty. Riding along with the blossoms, you float through Osaka Castle Park in the heart of the city of Osaka, Japan. Above the greenery surrounding the five-story castle, first built in the 16th century, the lush rosy bouquets of blossoms dapple the park like spring kisses. The cherry blossom trees are the national flower of Japan and are known as Sakura. In the 1700s, the great Japanese poet Yosa Busong expressed, Sakura, Sakura, they fall in the dreams of sleeping beauty. You fall into these dreams as well. You witness a flash of golden light and suddenly find yourself seated on a boat known as the Golden Wasan. The traditional Japanese-style boat is ornate, with a gilded facade that sparkles and reflects the blue-green water of the moat that protects the Osaka castle. You lean against one of the many vibrant orange pillars that supports the glittery gold roof. The two-tiered roof curves like a wide, flattened bell, offering shade from the late-day sun. You take in a deep breath and smell the perfume of spring, layered with the metallic smell of water, the rich fragrance of the wet earth, and floral sweet notes of blossoms in bloom. You are overwhelmed with sensations of hope and optimism with each intake of air. The world around you is verdant, alive, and at peace. After a wintry season of hunkering down, now comes the time to thrive and reach towards the warm rays of sunlight. You enjoy the gentle rocking of the boat, the water that ripples like a metallic satin sheet beneath the vessel as it sits lower in the water than other boats. You dip your fingers into the water and drag it across the surface, watching as they create more ripples that widen towards the edges of the moat. Like the imagery of fairy tales, the beauty of the Osaka castle and the mysticism of the moat encourage your mind to wander to thoughts of dragons and princesses, of warriors and heroes. Granite walls rise out of the green-tinted water towards the castle, solid and protective. Forest green foliage cascades down the stones of the wall that rise as high as the castle itself. You feel quite small looking towards the majesty of the walls and the castle, yet this feeling washes over you in a good way because this beauty feels within reach and aspirational. Long ago, the Osaka castle was nestled in a bucolic landscape, but it is now the quiet retreat in a park within a bustling city. The quietude offers a perfect example of how you may maintain a mindful retreat within you when the world is bustling outside 
times of chaos, you may remember this tranquil oasis. The park is a reminder that quiet may be found in the noisiest of circumstances. It's easy to find peace when the world is at peace, but the true victory comes when peace is found amid challenges, when harmony may be orchestrated out of noise. You lean out over the water to immerse yourself in the warm sunlight. The white gold rays wash over you and cause your skin to tingle in the gentle heat at points. The moat is as wide as a river. The wasson floats towards a bridge that leads over the moat to the castle. The Gokurakubashi or Paradise Bridge was built out of wood in the 1600s at a time when the moat was made deeper and the castle made grander, while later rebuilt with concrete. For a moment you see the old bridge appear in hologram form. It wafts above the waterway and this glimpse of an earlier time silences the hum of the modern world. For a moment all you hear is the chirping of sparrows and the gentle lapping of the waves. The wasson goes beneath the shade of the bridge and rocks you gently back and forth. You look to your feet. They are grounded on the tatami floor of the boat, made of multi-layers of woven rice straw. You inhale and catch the slight hint of the sweet smell of rice. The wasan comes to a dock just as the sun lowers in the cobalt blue sky. You gently balance as you make your way off the boat and bow with reverence towards the captain. You find your balance and feel the solidity of the land beneath your feet. You begin the ascent towards the castle and the cherry blossoms begin to surround you. The pink and ivory blossoms are like puffy clouds that have fallen from the sky and now hover over the emerald green lawns. The pastel hues of the blossoms contrast the vibrant blue sky and remind you of soft things found in nature, of white feathers and puffy dandelion clocks, a fluffy sheep that dapple a green pasture, and the soft down of a gosling. Everything about this moment has a softness to it. The warm light of golden hour the mild spring breeze, the faint rustle of the blossoms, the ease of the day, where everything feels free and comfortable. With each step, you feel as if you are floating through the beauty of the park. You are more aware of the moments when your feet lift above the earth with each step than you are of them landing on the firm ground. You come to a stone pathway that is lined by sakura trees. The wind has blown blossoms free and they now cover the pathway in a carpet of plush petals. You gracefully step on the silky softness. Your toes stick out of your sandaled feet and the petals massage them. It is like your soles are landing on tufts of cotton. You reach down and pick up a handful of the petals. 
you cup them to your nose and inhale the very faint aroma. Notes of vanilla and rose marry a hint of baby shampoo and spring, but the aroma is as sheer and as delicate as the flowers. For centuries before you, the Japanese would gather to have blossom watching parties. The ritual causes one to slow down and become deeply invested in the present moment. You take in a deep breath and exhale as you continue to walk down spring's carpet of blossoms. Amid all the cherry blossoms in bloom, there is a specific tree on the lawn that calls to you, guided by a gentle whisper and a deeply felt urging. You are drawn to this tree. You step on the lush green grass and walk towards the middle of the lawn. You are led with a certainty that you often yearn for in your waking life. This gentle nudge, this confident knowing is all at once familiar and like a distant dream. You tune into the sensation and capture it for memory. This power of knowing has always resided within you, and as it is awoken in this foreign landscape, you know that it will continue to loudon over time if that is what you desire. As you arrive at the tree, the whispers and urging begin to quiet and you simply know this is the one, this is the place, you are exactly where you are meant to be. A blanket is spread out perfectly beneath the luscious part of the tree. The blanket is familiar to you and has been a comforting article at important moments in your life. You are curious how it got here, and yet you also understand, wherever you go, you will find yourself. You always come along, the blanket is but a reminder of that. You comfortably position yourself on the blanket, it feels like a plush pillow from the lush grass and layers of fallen blossoms beneath it, you notice a honey-hued wooden tray with a cast iron tea kettle and tiny cup adorned with hand-painted cherry blossoms. There is a neatly folded note that rests against the rough black texture of the kettle. You pick it up and feel the thick, soft, linen-like stationery in your fingers. Your name is written on the front in elegant calligraphy. In your native language, as well as in Japanese, the note feels like further evidence you are exactly where you need to be. You open the note and it reads an old Japanese proverb, each moment only once. You take this moment to consider. Even the most mundane moments are not so mundane when you realize they will never happen again. Your mind changes with the elasticity of every new thought. You float through time, cells changing each second, yet they go unnoticed. And while times may feel the same, or even familiar, 
The moment happens only once. The note invites you to enjoy Hanami, the centuries-old practice of imbibing beneath blooming sakura. The cherry blossoms symbolize renewal and life, and their impermanence has been a metaphor for appreciating the essence of the moment for centuries. You lift the metal handle of the cast iron kettle and slowly pour the warm tea into the tiny cup. You place the kettle back down and raise the tea to your lips. It smells of jasmine and you sip it slowly. You feel the warm liquid, so silky and the perfect temperature as it cascades down your throat. You feel yourself slowing down. You take in a deep breath and then exhale. You become more in tune with this moment, existing only once. You feel individual strands of your hair riding on the soft breeze. You sip the tea again and look up at the blossoms. You notice how from afar they may appear like earthbound clouds. But up close, every flower is unique and intricately designed. Things only appear one way because of perspective. You count the petals of a blossom. One, two, three, four, five. The vibrant pink edges outline the cloud white interior. The heart of the flower's base forms a star from which the butter yellow stamens grow. Your attention turns to all the varying cherry blossom trees that surround you. There are over 600 varieties existing in Japan. The soft pinks of the petals vary from shades of salmon, coral, rosy peach, and flamingo pink. As if in the midst of a rare pink rainbow, experienced only at sunrise and sunset, you lie on your back to take in the cotton candy pink of sunset. Never before did you imagine so many varying shades of this soft, soothing color could exist. Your heart feels warm along with your skin, and you enjoy this time between day and night. Your body is awash in this healing pink hue that brings a sense of renewal and love. Through the plush cherry blossom branches, you see the Osaka castle set against the pink and lavender sky. The pastel hues remind you of sweet confections and ice cream shop displays. The castle has gold ornamentations, like wrappers on the most decadent of rich chocolates. They accent the three gabled roofs that point towards the sky. Eight tigers are designed in gold leaf and are prominent in the main tower. 
They protect against wind, bad luck, and evil spirits. They symbolize courage and perseverance. The copper edges of the roof have turned the green shade of mint chocolate chip ice cream. At the roof's peak, you see a gilded shachihoko, a mythical creature with the body of a carp and the head of a tiger thought to provide protection from fire and to bring rain. You look through the veil of pink blossoms towards the castle and connect with the universal and timeless desire to feel safe and protected from what is beyond your control. And it feels good to do what you can to control what seems uncontrollable. On this voyage to Osaka, you realize all you can control. Your breath, your imagination, your thoughts, the messages you send to your body, your connection with the present moment, your connection with the beauty in this world, always available for you to enjoy if you so choose. The Osaka Castle is temple-like and reverent having been reconstructed and restored to be better than its original incarnation. And so too, over time, may you take the challenges and restore yourself to a stronger, more resilient, and beautiful version. A Japanese proverb in simple translation says, fall down seven times, get up eight. You sit up and pour more tea into your cup. You remove the cast iron lid from the kettle to find a cherry blossom floating atop the amber-tinted tea. So delicate and beautiful, the pink petals contrast the shadowy interior of the small pot. For a moment, you are hypnotized by the delicate floating petals. Your time enjoying Hanami has made you more aware of the subtle details and beauty. You imagine all the effort it would take to physically create the world that surrounds you. It is a living masterpiece. And every moment in your life you are surrounded by objects that took so much time to create and come to being. And you yourself are a living masterpiece as well. You take in a deep breath of the night air that smells all the cleaner as the humidity rises and temperature drops. You close your eyes and sigh and connect with a feeling of patience. 
the Osaka Castle, the hundreds of varieties of Sakura, the majestic moat, have all taken time to create and recreate. You reflect on your own life and the things you wish to experience in this life. It is not too late, nor will it ever be, for you to continue to evolve and move towards all you most desire. Patience. You sip the tea like an elixir. It soothes you and cascades through your body, softly and slowly, reminding you of patience, of this moment. You lie down on the blanket and look to the sky now a twilight blue. A crescent moon appears and hangs above the peaks of Osaka Castle. The gold leaf ornaments twinkle beneath the silver stars and make the sky feel close enough to touch. The soft pink petals continue to drift down on you, one at a time. They land on your bare skin like patches of silk. You relish their cool, delicate smoothness as they land on your cheeks and hands. Like a soft rain they pat against the earth and your body in a steady, gentle massage. The breeze continues to rustle the cherry blossoms and lush grass that shimmers in the moonlight. The pink sakura contrasts the blue-black sky and appears more vibrantly saturated in colors against the darkness than it did against the midday sky. In but a couple of hours, you have watched the landscape change many times, just like the Japanese proverb expressed each moment only once. The cherry blossom's bloom time is so brief that it is a reminder of how fleeting time can be. And rather than grasp or hold on to something that cannot stay the same, we must learn to let go. Surrendering is the key to the secret garden of peace. And the finite time to view the blossoms, to inhale the fertile and sweet smells of spring, elevate the importance of tuning in. Your mind begins to drift with the ease of a feather and the delicate splendor of a blossom sailing on the night breeze. You close your eyes and flow in between consciousness and sleep. The blanket of blossoms on the earth's floor begins to rise. And suddenly you begin to float as well. The petals come together to form a plush, cloud-like bed around you. Like 
like a magic carpet ride. They float over the gardens of the park and cotton candy tufts of sakura in full bloom. You sail above the ornate roof of the castle and reach out to run your fingers over the gold symbols of protection. In the distance, you see the modern skyline of Osaka Feel as though you are in between the old and new worlds. You are floating between the layers of time. The cloud of blossoms continues to float like a raft towards the sea of the night sky. And you are gliding higher and higher up above the sparkling city lights and then the islands of Japan. The higher you drift, the darkness of the sky and the Pacific Ocean below become mirrors of the night, reflecting one another. You take in a deep breath and sigh you see yourself from new perspectives. From afar, you see yourself floating on the fluffy pink cloud through the velvety indigo blue sky beneath the sliver of a moon. It looks like an impressionist painting brought to life on the canvas of your imagination. When you zoom in closer, you see the delicate, unique petals that magnetically come together to form the plush cloud that supports you. Everything about this moment is dreamlike, soft, and perfect. The temperature, the fragrant night air, the stillness of the night, the soothing colors, the magical stars, you allow yourself to drift, surrendering to the whispers of sleep, letting go as you float between worlds. And I am going to count you down to a night of healing, deep sleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding bliss, finding enchantment, finding peace, finding respite, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night. <laughs>